Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be running the Windows version of Crisis Core Final Fantasy Summer Reunion on Apple Silicon Macs. So there is no Mac port of this game. We're going to be running the Windows version through a virtual machine software called Parallels. And this is going to allow us to run software like Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core and also plenty of other Windows games too. So in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to install Parallels to begin with, how to get Windows 11 ARM running on Apple Silicon Macs, how to install the Steam Launcher, and then how to get Final Fantasy Fantasy 7 Crisis Core running on your Mac. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So the first thing that we need to do is to click on the link at the top of the video description. If you do make a purchase after following this link, then I'm going to receive a small commission and you'll be helping to support this channel and the videos that I make. So once you click the link, you'll get to this Parallels page. What we can do is click the Buy Now button. We can click New License here. So at this stage, what I would do is to press the Compare button here. And here you can see a comparison between the Standard and the Pro Edition. I'll say that for most people the standard edition is enough you only really need to allocate eight gigabytes and four cpu cores in order to get the best out of gaming however if you want to take the most advantage of your system's resources then you're going to need the pro edition so let's say that we make a purchase of the pro edition and click buy now here we have the option to enter a coupon code if you enter the coupon code apple wiki 10 then you're going to get a 10 percent discount however if you don't want to make a purchase you can also download a free trial which i'm going to do today make sure that this is the right software for you and if you do decide to make a purchase then make sure to follow that link again so here i'm going to click download free trial and then we're going to open up Finder and then go to our Downloads folder, double click on Install Parallels Desktop DMG, and then we're going to have this installer. So I'm going to double click on Install Parallels Desktop, and then saying here that this is an app downloaded from the internet. Are we sure we want to open it? Press Open. Here we're going to press the Accept button, and then this is going to go ahead and start downloading Parallels Desktop. So now it's saying here that it's installing Parallels Desktop. Here we're going to enter our local user password. Press OK. Here it's initializing, and now we're going to go through the installation assistant. So the first thing it's going to do is to download and install Windows 11 ARM. So what I'm going to do here is to click the Install Windows button, and it's going to go ahead and create a brand new virtual machine. So what's cool about Parallels is that you don't have to register for the Windows Insider program. This is just directly downloading Windows 11 ARM from the internet. So just wait for this to complete. We're downloading four gigabytes of data. So once the download's complete, it's automatically going to go ahead and complete an installation. What we're going to do here is press click to continue. And here we're going to see that we need to accept the Windows license agreement, press accept. And now you can already see that we've logged into Windows 11 in this little window here. I can minimize this browser window and you can see that this is the Windows 11 ARM desktop. We have our internet connection, we have sound working and all of the integrations are all there. If you want to full screen this, just press the green button here. If the resolution's wrong, you can right click here, click on display settings. And then normally what I like to do is to tweak the scale down to 100% so it looks a little bit more like a standard Windows desktop. So now what we're going to do here is to open up the Microsoft Edge browser. And if you're interested in playing games, then what I suggest that you do is to download the Steam client. I'm going to type in Steam into Bing and then we're going to go to the store.steampower.com website. And here we've loaded up the main Steam store page. What we're going to do here is click the install Steam button here, and then we're going to install Steam here. This is going to go ahead and download the Windows Steam setup.exe. We can go to Explorer and then go to Downloads and then find Steam setup here. So we can double click on this. And this is going to install the Windows version of Steam. We're just going to go through all of the standard setup and then click run Steam here. This is going to download, this is going to download the Steam client. So now that it's installed, we're going to log in with our username and password or scan a QR code with your Steam app. And we're now logging into Steam, who we can full screen here. And basically because we're running this through Windows, we're able to download and install any of the Windows versions of these games. A lot of them are not compatible, but many of them will run and run very well. So once we have Steam installed, what we're going to do is to do a search for Crisis Core. So I'm going to type in Crisis Core and then select this. And now we have the Crisis Core Steam page here. So you can go ahead and scroll down and then we can make a purchase of this game. And click the button Add to Cart and then I'm going to purchase for myself. So press this button here. Then we're going to enter our credit card details and then our security code as well. We're going to agree to the Steam subscriber agreement and then click the purchase button. Once the game has been purchased, you can click the install content button here or you can go to your library. Then you can type in the word crisis and then we'll find crisis core here. We're going to press the install button. I'm going to press next. I agree. I'm going to go ahead and download this game. So now the game's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and launch. So here we're going to press a button, we're going to go to options. Here we can see the graphics settings. We have frame rate capped at 60 FPS, V-Sync's on and graphics quality is set to high. Here we're going to go ahead and start a new game. So I've played around and I've played about 15 minutes of this game so far. And it's really quite impressive how well this actually runs through a virtual machine on Windows 11 ARM. Not only are we emulating the x86 64-bit game in order to run on the ARM architecture, we're also virtualizing the entire Windows 11 ARM operating system in the background. 
and we only have access to half the CPU cores and half of the system memory. So what's really interesting is that we're getting about 40 or so FPS during combat running on my MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip. In the beginning of the game, you're going to get stuttering and as shaders compile, this is going to go away eventually. And if you wanted to hit 60 FPS, all you need to do is turn down some of the graphics settings, you'll reach that frame rate. So anyway, this is how you install Windows 11 ARM and get Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion working on Apple Silicon hardware. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.